Craig D. Lonsborough once said, we want a fresh start only because we didn't sufficiently care for the last fresh start. How you maintain your building influences how long it will serve you. I'll share some tips on the different types of maintenance and how they apply. Building maintenance is the combination of technical and administrative actions to ensure the items and elements of a building is in an acceptable standard to perform its required service or function. This includes making periodic checks to ensure your building is protected by fixing damages, replacing equipment and replenishing necessary supplies for the smooth running of your property. The maintenance of our buildings is very important. Neglect can cause loss of money, peace of mind. There are different types of maintenance, but I'll talk about five general types of maintenance to make your buildings durable. Often we practice maintenance, but we may not know that we are maintaining the buildings. We need to maintain our commercial buildings and residential buildings to get the best out of them. We have preventive maintenance. This includes activities that we do daily, weekly, monthly, as the case may be, to prevent um, failure of the building. This kind of maintenance includes um, cleaning, proper cleaning of walls, floors, possibly on a daily basis, depending on the dirt exposure, must be done to avoid accumulation of dirt and dust. If the building has washable paint, it is supposed to be cleaned with water as well as soap. Clean glass, windows, bathrooms, kitchens, sweep the compound, remove cobwebs and dispose all waste material from the building. You may need to sanitize your homes as well during epidemic or pandemic period. If you have children and people with special needs at home, you may need to sanitize your homes frequently. You can watch our video on sanitizing a building and things to use. We'll put the link below. You can also call professional cleaners to help you with the cleaning of your homes. Corrective maintenance occurs to correct fault. You may ask which fault, whose fault, what fault? The fault could be as a design fault or construction fault. Maybe having a broken pipe in the wall during casting and needs to be corrected to prevent dampness. You can also have scheduled maintenance. This should be done when you believe that a building is expected to be maintained at a particular time. For instance, a building that has been painted with good quality paint should last for four years. So you can plan to repaint to keep it in a good shape and a good um, presentation. There are things you can check for maintenance purposes, like escalators, door hinges, like tabs, to make sure they're in good shape. Now, if you're watching for the first time, thank you for joining us. We have been talking about maintenance. What are the simple but yet effective ways you maintain your buildings? Do share with us in the comment section below. Another type of maintenance is risk-based maintenance. This occurs when the building has been exposed to a particular risk or damage, or you need to maintain to bring out its best. For instance, a broken glass, or maybe because um, children were playing around and they broke a glass, that needs to be replaced. Houses close to the road construction areas may need to be repainted because of dust exposure. Condition-based maintenance occurs when you notice a building or its element is not giving you its best at that time. For instance, having a clogged drain can leave your home flooded. You can also watch our previous video on indoor flooding to get tips on management of clogged drain. individuals we take our bath clean our bodies makeup this is maintenance when we feel sick we go to the doctor we are maintaining our bodies 
also our buildings need us to take care of them. Thank you for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, please do so on the link below. And you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Property Doctor NG and on Twitter at Property Doctor NG. Bye.